I'm backstage here at Music in the Fields in Lucknow, Ontario with Aaron Lines. Aaron, welcome to Lucknow. It's good to be here, thanks. Now I know the fans are really excited to see you because you've been in this industry for a long time. You're still a young guy, but you have a lot behind you. Five studio albums and you're the most played country musician on country radio in Canada in the past 10 years, which is a tremendous accomplishment. How did you feel when you first heard that? Uh, well, that, that was, uh, of all the good things that happened to me uh, in music, that was probably the the greatest moment just because I've I'm a songwriter and I've uh, you know to know your songs have been played that much and people are hearing them I mean, that's all you can ask for right so so yeah I never expected that but that was a pretty fun day when I when I heard that yeah absolutely now is there a song that you like the most from your career I mean you have so many to choose from but is yeah. there one that you really gravitate to us one that really hits home for you or really was maybe your your song that indicated that you'd made it um it's a good question you know there, there are all these different types of songs like I uh, my favorite song I've written probably is a song called I Haven't Even Heard You Cry that I wrote for my daughter. Yeah. And, uh, but I mean, to play live, I've, I got a song called Cheaper to Keeper that when we play live, I never thought the song would be as big as it is, but uh, when we play live, people you know sing every word back. And so that's kind of fun too, but they're two totally different. I mean, Cheaper to Keeper is just a fun kind of nonsense song. And, yeah. and uh, you know, I, I usually try to write songs that are, have a little more meat to them. And uh, I like the one for my daughter or, or uh, you know, You Can't Have Beautiful is another one that, uh, it's just been a special one for me because you know people react to that one and it reminds me of uh, it was one of my first songs out there and kind of got my career rolling so exactly so. now your most recent album is Sunday afternoon mm -hmm. can fans expect to hear anything more from you in the next little while well I, I've been writing I've just been starting writing for a, a new record so okay. so that records kind of we put all the songs out that we're gonna put out and uh, and yeah, now it's kind of fun to get to start writing some new ones and and uh, you know playing for people and see what they think and all that kind of stuff. So, but yeah, it's fun. It kind of I love playing shows all the time, but especially when you're writing for a new record because you kind of get a real feel for the audience you're you know you're writing for and stuff. So it's kind of nice to be out here and then go back home and get to write some songs with you. It reminds you, you know. Uh, uh, what country music is, you know, all the time when you when you see the fans right right in front of you. Exactly. Now, is there an estimated date that you'll release? You know this what? Album? There isn't. Not at okay. this point. Sometime, <laughs> sometime next year. But okay. I, it'll kind of depend. You know, I got two little daughters at home. And yes. It'll depend a little bit on You're how that. You're a little that, busy right now. Well, yeah, that's kind of my first priority, and uh, and that's good. And uh, so yeah, I get all you know. Uh, when they're all, you know, everything's going well with them is when I start writing songs and that. So we'll see how uh, things pan out, but it won't, won't be too, too long. Okay, well, we look forward to that. Aaron, we look forward to your show as well. Thank you so much for chatting yeah, with no us. No problem, thanks and for having me. Do you want to say one quick thing to your fans who are out here supporting you? Oh, geez, just thanks for coming out again. Uh, we got a beautiful day for this and looking forward to playing for you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Uh